from Christ of the Lessons, uh, page 178, which says the following words. In this time of preparing iniquity, we may know that the last great crisis is at hand. When the defense of God's law is almost universal, when his people are oppressed and afflicted by their fellow men, the Lord will interpose. At the time of iniquity in which today we live, the time when there is the bias of the law of God, the time when the last great crisis is at hand, you will find that iniquity will increase every other time. Just as I said yesterday, the truth is we are living in the end times. All the things that are happening today are happening as a result of unfolding end time events. And you remember yesterday we said that we need to be patient. If there is a time that the church needed to pray, this is the right time when we need to pray. Because all the signs, all the events indicating that we are living in the last times are there. They are happening every other time. We are standing upon the threshold of great and solemn events. Prophecies are fulfilling a strange, eventful history is being recorded in the books of heaven. Everything in our world is agitating. Everything in the world is agitating. Human beings are agitating. Things that are happening are agitating. And you will find the agitation continuing as we come to the end of <coughs> this world history. There are wars and the rumors of wars. The nations are angry. And the time of the dead has come that they should be charged. Events are changing to bring about the day of God, which has hastened greatly. Only a moment of time, as it were, yet remains. But while already nation is rising against the nation, the kingdom against the kingdom, there is not now a general engagement. As yet, the four winds are held until the servants of God shall be sealed in their foreheads. In fact, what is taking us to see these events is that the four angels who hold the four winds of this world are still holding. Until that time when the children of God will be sealed, a time of sealing. And God is allowing these events to pass as, uh, uh, before our eyes, as sins to prepare us that there is something greater coming. There are things that we need to be careful while we observe. Why do we have wars? Why do we have rumors of wars? Why do we have people who are leaders but they cannot sit and agree? Why are younger people now coming up and they are giving themselves a very good name? Gen Z. You know, I found that Gen Z is Generation Z. And when you speak it in Kiswahili, it may mean Generation Zoom. Generation Zoom. Why are they Zooming? 
In fact, these are people without the leaders. <laughs> there is no specific leader. But they zoom using technology and they know how they can invite one another to build the streets without any leader. Not only that, many years ago, you will find that it was the politicians who could come and uh, demonstrate in all the streets. But it has reached a time when the younger people are saying, holy man, you need to sit back so that we work now and uh, we give a direction to the nation. We are now the people to give a direction. Because we have given you enough time as only men to make decisions, but you cannot make those decisions. And you know, in the Bible, there is a time when uh, one king said that uh, your father did not use the hoops. And the time has come as younger people when we need now to give a direction to the nation. I, I, I know there is a story in the Bible talking about younger people now advising the king. If you can remember well, these younger people, when they started advising the king, you will find that the, 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 the world grow or grew more difficult, more hard than when all the men were advisors of the king. And you can see the king today, even in Kenya, he started by saying, if at all you will give me leadership of this country, the first priority is young people. Younger people, mama boga, boda boda. <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> the way things are turning is very different. The same same young people who were promised heaven on earth have waited, waited, waited. They don't see any difference. They don't see any change. Instead. They are being pressed more than even before. And they have decided to come up now to defend themselves. Then the powers of the earth will marshal their forces to the last great battle. This is testimonies, volume 6 and the page 14. The restraining spirit of God is even now being withdrawn from the world. Hurricanes, storms, tempests, fire and, uh, and flood, disasters by sea and land follow each other in quick succession. When you see what is happening, it is recently when we were talking about floods, isn't it? Even in this country. Were we not talking about floods? It is recently when we were talking about hurricanes. It is recently when we were talking about disasters happening everywhere. And these events are following each other at a very close succession. Science seeks to explain all this. The sign thickening around us, telling of the <coughs> near approach. Men cannot discern the sentinel, uh, the, the sentinel angel restraining the four winds that they shall not blow until the servants of God are sealed. But when God shall beat his angels loose the winds, there shall be such a scene of strife as no pain can picture. The days in which we live are solemnly important. The Spirit of God is gradually, but surely, being withdrawn from the earth. Plagues 
and the judgments are already falling upon the dispers of the grace of God. The calamities by land and the sea, the unsettled state of society, the alarms of war are portentous. They forecast approaching events of the great magnitude. The agencies of evil are combining their efforts, their forces, and consolidating them. The evil spirits, the evil angels, are consolidating their powers to ensure that the world is made chaotic. Great changes are <coughs> soon to take place in our world. And the final moments will be rapid ones. The things as it unfolds, <coughs> they will turn very rapid. Fun events will keep on coming very rapidly, one after the other. When we talk of floods, when we talk of bloodshed, when we talk of demonstrations, when we talk of all bad things happening, when we talk of earthquakes, all these are signs that need to prepare us to know that we are living in the time of the end. The time is at hand when there will be sorrow in the world that no human palm can heal. When we see these things coming, when we see these things happening, we are told from the pen of inspiration that the sorrow in the world will come that the palm of human being cannot heal. So what is coming one after the other, there is no hand of human being which can heal. The spirit of God is being withdrawn. Disasters will continue following one after the other. How frequent you will hear about the earthquakes. How frequent you will hear about tornadoes. How Quickly will you hear about destruction by fire and the flood with the great loss of life and the property. You know these things are happening at our time. And we are witnesses of what is taking place today. We need to get encouraged. We need to be reminded that we, are, we do not have a lot of time to live on this earth. And there's one thing that we need to be reminded about. Uh, we need to encourage one another, just as the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 41 and the verse 6. The Bible says, everyone helped his, his neighbor and said to his brother, be of good courage. When these events are coming very fast, when the changes in the world are unfolding day after day, Prophet Isaiah is saying, everyone helps his neighbor and said to his brother, be of good courage. We need to be encouraged when the funny events are coming on this earth. We need to be encouraged. Because the time of our salvation is now. We need to be happy. And we need to lift up our, 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 our hands and say, Indeed, our Lord come at the right time. Come and save because... There is no human hand that will heal the things that are coming today. Because one thing will be calmed down and another one will rise up. One wrong thing will be corrected, but another thing will be 
coming up again. And verse 10 in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, and verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Those who trust God, God will hold, get hold of them. And when the Bible says that fear not, those events are preparation. We need to prepare psychologically that great events are coming. But the prophet Isaiah reminds us that we need not to fear because God is with us. We should not be dismayed for God is with us. And he says that I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We are in the hands of God. We need not to fear. But the things that we see today are signs to remind us that Christ is at the home. We need not to begin wondering and asking what is this happening? Those are signs. And clearly, heaven is communicating to us. We are reminded that Christ is just at the door. Friends, let's not fear. Let's trust that God will strengthen us. Let's believe that God will help us. And as he has promised in his word, that he will uphold us in his righteous hand. Things will continue to be more difficult. And uh, as the things get tougher, let's trust that our God is faithful. And in his word, we need to trust. In his word, we need to know that there is help that will come at the right time. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen.